Today we have a week, uh, week 9 IBL team prep versus Jose in the Seattle Sea Dress. So we did battle Jose, our division rival, week 1, and we ended up losing. It was a very close match. I don't really remember exactly what happened, but we had to play on Showdown. This time we're going to be playing on Carter, so that's really nice, but uh, I decided to end up rebuilding the team because we obviously do not have Sandslash or Ninetales, which I brought both of them to that original week, and he brought Yuxi against me, and now I have Yuxi, so uh, there will be a couple changes in his team overall as you'll see above my head you will see all the team but i'm gonna go over here we get, he has zapdos garchomp tentacruel tyranitar cobalion gardevoir syllabi kavagrigus swallow licky licky and blaziken so my division has like some super scary teams and it, uh reigning dbl champion i don't know how the season three is gone if, if playoffs are over yet and whatnot but anyways i'm gonna go over the team that i built for him and the reason that i uh, have specific things on specific Pokemon, so pretty cool stuff. First up, we got Hazel the Mew, as always, with the Medium Z, uh, Psychic, Ice Beam, or Sphere, and Earth Power. So, obviously, Hazel, with its immense coverage, it just works very nicely against his team. He doesn't have anything that's super amazing against Hazel, which is the best part, because he's got, obviously, Tyranitar being a Dark type, and Kofagorgus being a Ghost type. Those are two types that are super effective against Mew, but at the same time, Tyranitar can be in on Hazel, but Confagrigus really doesn't want to because it's more physically bulky and uh, yeah, sadly I don't have really anything to cover for uh, the, the Confagrigus, but there's not much else I can, not much I can do is four move slot syndrome and I I feel like I needed these more than I needed Shadow Ball. So, uh, we're rocking Medium Z because uh, Genesis Supernova is great. <laughs> Psychic is a nice stab move. I believe it hits everything on his team for at least neutral except for Tyranitar. Uh, Guard of War and Celebi also resisted, I guess I forgot about that, but otherwise it hits us team very nicely. Ice Beam works really well against Garchomp, uh, yep, yeah, I was gonna say, no, I said the wrong Pokemon, but Garchomp, uh, Zapdos, it hits Celebi very nicely, Swallow, so pretty cool stuff. Or Sphere uh, is for that big bulky normal type, and Licky Licky, even though it probably won't do too much to Licky Licky, it's just gonna have a super effective move against it to scare it out and whatnot. Uh, it'll hit Cobalion and Tyranitar extremely hard. And yeah, Earth Power, let's see, Earth Power was mainly for Tanacrow, I believe. Um, was it for, did I, you know, I may end up getting rid of Earth Power for, getting Earth Power for Shadow Wall, because looking over his team again, I don't actually need Earth Power, really. Obviously, hits Blaziken, uh, and Cobalion, oh, Cobalion's only for neutral, hits Tanacrow, that was the reason I had it. But I don't need that if I have Psychic, so I'm, I'm gonna get rid of Earth Power, and I'm gonna put Shadow Ball on it. I have, luckily, Shadow Ball is a TM, so I'm able to do that, which is nice. Anyways, yeah, we're rocking a Timid Nature because he's got three Pokemon that speed tie with Hazel if he's running max speed, speed boosting nature, being um, Celebi, the Zapdos, and the Tentacruel, all being base 100. So uh, if I have an opportunity to speed tie with him or outspeed them if he decides to not run max or like a speed boost nature or something like that then we'd be very good so yeah that's hazel for us next up we have kate up the melotic one of the mvps of the season so far uh holding leftovers of marvel scale ice beam scald recover and toxic uh so once again ice beam does well against his entire team but this is a very very typical melotic set now the reason for that is because melotic overall doesn't need this immense array of moves that uh, cover stuff. Scald and Ice Beam work well against most of his team, and that's good enough for me. Uh, Recover and Toxic allows this thing to be more viable, or not viable, uh, keep its longevity and be able to Toxic some Pokemon that are stally and that I would like to uh, put on a timer and make him easier to take down. So there's that. Um, obviously, Recover to keep healing me up. So if I end up getting like burned by Kafagrigus, which is best case scenario for Kate Upton because Poison does more damage than Burn, Toxic racks up, uh, Paralysis has a chance to uh, paralyze me, but Burn only does one tenth of, or one sixteenth of my health, and it bur and it has the attack stat which is already 58. <laughs> so uh, that would be really nice if we're able to, uh, if we end up getting Burn because that'll make this thing even more physically bulky. But leftovers restore more than the. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure they restore more. 
No, I think they restore equal to burn. Hold on. Okay, yeah, so it's pretty much equal to burn. Or not pretty much, it is equal to burn. So, pretty cool stuff, and... Uh, yeah, max HP, max physical defense with a, um, a bold nature for a special attack, so I can just hit a little bit harder. And uh, overall, this thing, once again, just stacks up very nicely against this entire team. Uh, Zapdos, I don't want to be in on. And that's really the scariest thing to Melotic, is that uh, the Zapdos. Because I can hit... I mean, obviously, Zapdos being super fast and very specially offensive. Uh, I do have good special defense, so I'm pretty sure I can live one attack as long as it's not like Specs. But, you know, uh, yeah, it could be kind of an issue. Not really an issue. We'll see what happens. It should be good, though. So, anyways, that is Kate Upton for us. Next up, we have Camilla, the Choice Scarped Hexers with Mole Breaker, Outrage, Poison Jab, Night Slash, and Super Power. So, Mole Breaker overall doesn't really help me here. Uh, I just felt it. Well, thinking about it, it probably would have been better to run on Nerve because of possibly Yashi on Garchomp, possible Chapel on Titar or something like that. So, you never know. Anyway, it's too late. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just going to go with Mole Breaker. Yeah, Mole Breaker is kind of a stupid thing to do. Okay, well, too bad, so sad. That was kind of a bad choice of moves. Anyways, I have Outrage on this thing because... Uh, obviously, he has I, he's got the one resistance in Cobalion and the one immunity in Gardevoir. But if we can get get, a, get rid of Gardevoir, then this thing can just destroy his team. Hit super hard with that outrage there, and um, it just works very nicely in the situation. Poison Jab is obviously for it hits Celebi super hard. It hits the um, the the Gardevoir super hard as well. And I believe that's all that that did. Night Slash is mainly for Kavagrigus because that thing can kind of sit in on Camilla overall. I mean, Camilla hits so hard anyway because of that base 147 attack. It's overall just a bulky physical wall. And if I can hit it with a Night Slash and maybe even get a crit and like destroy the thing, that'd be amazing. It uh, hits Guard of War for neutral if I have to predict that switch. Because um, obviously he has no, I don't think there's any immunity to dark typing anyway. So never mind. Um, yeah, superpower obliterates Titar. That's the main reason I'm bringing it. Um, it also hits Licky Licky super hard. Obviously he doesn't have the immunity in Confagrigus and resistances in Gardevoir and Tentacruel and Zapdos. Superpower also hits super hard and being faster uh, well, maybe allow me to take out another Pokemon that is possibly already lower on health. And it was rocking max attack with 188 in speed, which allows me to outspeed a max speed adamant, uh, g Scarf Chomp. Well, actually, just an adamant Garchomp. So if he runs Scarf and he runs adamant Garchomp, I will outspeed that by one point, and that will allow me to... And I was able to put the rest in special defense so I can uh, possibly live a hit better from... Uh, some of his high-powered special attackers, but Rock and Jolly, so I was able to put less in speed. So, pretty cool stuff. That's Camilla Forest. Next up, we have uh, a Pokemon that we played against, Yuxi. Uh, so we're bringing it against his former team, holding leftovers with Knockoff, Ice Punch, U-Turn, and Stealth Rock. So overall, I really wanted to run a physical set on this thing. Uh, Psychic overall is a good typing against his team, but I wanted to run Ice Punch and U-Turn. Obviously, I like U-Turn, ha uh, having U-Turn obliterates Celebi. Uh, it's Gardevoir for neutral, and I mean, it doesn't really do too much overall against this team, but uh, it's a good pivot move, allows me to get some momentum, uh, I can set up Stealth Rocks to get some chip damage on some of his uh, bulkier, well not bulkier, his uh, offensive threats, and uh, 25 to Swallow, 25 to Zapdos, so uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, Ice Punch, mainly, I mean it hits Zapdos, Garchomp, it hits uh, Celebi, Swallow, so overall Ice is pretty decent against this team as well. I didn't. I wanted to run Ice Punch over Zen Headbutt because uh, I felt like the accuracy was more important, and uh, Knock Off because I mean it doesn't really it hits Celebi for super effective, but that's not the reason I brought. I have, I brought that because I can possibly get rid of like you know a scarf on something like the the Chomp or the 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 Gardevoir and uh, just I don't know Knock Off whatever other items Pokemon have uh, make them less. It, well, make them less viable because they don't have leftovers or stuff like that, so uh, pretty cool stuff. That is Brainchild there. A rockin' max HP with 208 in special defense. It was kind of just a random number. I just wanted to put a lot in special defense. I wanted this thing to be my special wall, and I also wanted to give it a little bit of attack investment so it could hit uh, decently hard, but I ended up running a careful nature so that I have 
very good special defense and that allowed me to take more special defense and put more in attack. This guy is still level 100, that doesn't really matter. Either way, uh, it, <laughs> you just, just, I'm pretty sure, do you, you just have the stats? I don't remember. We can actually check. I, I guess I just forgot to do that. I'm pretty sure you just almost have the stats, but I don't know the equations and whatnot. But anyways, the EV stay the same, so pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and uh, next up we have Phantom making his second uh, second appearance after coming last week as well, after we got him. So anyways, we have Phantom beginning guard with Life Orb once again, Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power Ice, and Focus Blast. So once again, Hidden Power Ice, Ice is a decent typing against this team. I like Giga Drain because it was able to... What did I bring Giga Drain for? Why did I bring Giga Drain, actually? That's a really good question. I was trying to kind of make up for not having Venusaur because I did want to bring Venusaur. Maybe that'll get a, let Phantom get some health back. It overall doesn't help me. Um, I'm better off. I'm gonna put Sludge Bomb on it because I don't think I have Sludge Wave yet. Uh, I'll, I'll maybe figure out where to find that and I'll teach a Sludge Wave because Sludge Wave is more important than Giga Drain here. Anyways, Shadow Ball overall, I mean, it obviously hits Copper Greek is super hard. He's got two immunities in Swallow and Licky Licky, which do suck. Uh, in that sense, but Shadow Ball overall is just a, it's a good, this Pokemon having that stab is awesome because he's got, what, one resistance being Titar? I'm pretty sure that's it. So otherwise, um, Psychic hits, or not Psychic, uh, Ghost hits super well against his entire team. Not to mention this thing also outspeeds, like, pretty much all of his team, actually. What doesn't he outspeed? Swallow. Swallow is the only thing it doesn't outspeed. Hidden Power Ice, Garchomp, Zapdos, Swallow, Celebi. Uh, Focus Blast obliterates T-Tar. Probably obliter quote unquote obliterates. It hits it very hard. It also hits Licky Licky very hard and Cobalion as well. And um, pretty much it. So we have a very interesting set. I have enough speed to outspeed max speed Jolly or speed boosting nature Cobalion, which is the next fastest thing after. Uh, Swallow, base 108 speed, so that gave me 12 extra EV, so I was able to put them in uh, each defense stat, just boosting them by one point, uh, possibly helping me out in the long run, so uh, yeah, and I'm also going Timid, so once again, so I can put less in speed, because I think I have to max, no, I don't have to max this thing out, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, well, actually, if I weren't Timid, I would have to max it out, and it still wouldn't even outspeed, so... Pretty cool stuff, that's Phantom. And finally, we have Toothpick, the Mudsdale. Uh, once again, this thing is so good, uh, mainly because of the stamina ability. This thing's just overall really bulky. So we're going to Soul Vest once again because I'm running a full attacking moveset with Ghost Combat, Earthquake, Heavy Slam, and Rock Slide. Ghost Combat, uh, once again, Licky Licky and Titar hits those things super hard. Also hits Swallow extremely hard, as well as Rock Slide. Uh, Earthquake just overall is a decent move, and I don't believe he has anything that resist it that is affected by it. I think the only thing that resists it being Celebi, and Celebi overall, I, I wouldn't leave Toothpick in on Celebi anyway. Uh, Heavy Slam obliterates Gardevoir. I'm, I'm really keeping that so I can hit Pokemon like Celebi because that's probably my best move towards Celebi. Um, and I believe that's really all the Heavy Slam would do for me. And then Rock Slide, uh, obviously hitting a Swallow and the Zapdos for super effective damage and it doesn't really do much to anything else but it also has a chance to flinch, so you never know, and it's the best, I mean, it really, this thing's got these four moves, and maybe counter, so it, do, it doesn't really have a good enough move set for League Play, but the Pokemon itself is amazing, that's why I like using it, so anyways, we have max HP, max attack, with an adamant nature, and four and special defense, four and special defense, just to boot the, boost that little bit that Assault Vest helps with, and uh, making myself really bulky with the amount of HP investment, uh, making sure this thing hits incredibly hard. Base 125 attack is already very, very high. So this thing hits very, very nicely. Um, the stamina allows with repeated hits, I get repeated defense boost. The Assault Vest overall just boosts my special defense. So this thing is going to be bulky -er. So Anyways, that is the team we're bringing for Jose. I uh, really hope you enjoyed it. Did like, appreciate it. I will leave the link to his channel and the IBL thing in the description below. We're on a two game skid so I'd like to be able to pull things back. He is at the top of my division and is likely to clinch it in a couple weeks. He's seven and one currently uh, and I'm the next best in our division being four and four. So yeah anyways uh, hopefully we can pull things back because I have to I'm competing currently with a wild card and the other uh, and the other con or not the other conference the other division 
Um, both both of them are four and four, I think, or something like that. So, anyways, that's not really important. Anyways, things don't start to really overdo it. It looks pretty, makes your sketch more. Let's go. Yeah.